Welcome to our tutorial on creating invoices in ESC. So let's get right to it. In the program, we have many ways to generate an invoice. ESC is set up so you can carry customer information that you already have on one screen to a new screen in order to save time and prevent errors. Remember, if you enter it twice, you're doing it wrong. The usual way to create an invoice is by selecting the Sales drop down menu and then Sales Invoicing. We can also use the F9 key to open this screen. From here, we would go to the blue plus sign in the top left of the screen and click on Add New. We can then select one of four ways to create an invoice. The new invoice link will be for an invoice that you are making on the fly, say for point of sale. You would then go to the customer dropdown and select your customer and start the invoicing process. The next way is Create from Dispatch. This is a great way to make sure all completed dispatches have been invoiced. This list contains all dispatches that have been completed in the last 30 days but have not yet been invoiced. Select the dispatch to work on and then click OK. If the dispatch was completed on a mobile device, you would have to select the next option, Import from Mobile. Again, select the dispatch and click OK. You can also create a progressive bill from a quote by selecting the last option here. If you are in the Dispatch Entry screen, you can also create an invoice by clicking on Create an Invoice. This will again carry the information to the invoice and connect that invoice to the dispatch. From the Quote screen, we can also create an invoice. Select a quote, click on the Bill button, and select Convert Quote into Invoice. This will again take the information from that quote to the invoice. Yet another way to create an invoice is from the Qualification screen. You select a customer in this screen and then click on Activities, Create Invoice. This will carry the customer information you have to a brand new invoice. The last place you can create an invoice from is the Enter Customer Info screen. First, select the customer and just like the Qualification screen, click on Activities, then Create an Invoice. Something to remember, using last two methods will not attach the invoice to a dispatch. From the Sales Invoicing screen, you can use Activities, Create a Recall Dispatch function to create a new dispatch that will tie to the currently displayed sales invoice. Now that we have an invoice created, let's go over some of the parts of the invoice screen. In the upper left of the screen, we will find the Form Type field. This is where you can change the form that the invoice is printed on. Of course, the next fields are used to select the customer and their location to bill for this invoice. This will populate into the Ship To and Bill To fields below. The headers that are underlined in blue are clickable links back to setup screens for that particular field. At the bottom of the screen, we will now review the four tabs that make up the invoice. The Invoice tab, number one, is where we actually add the itemized information that we want on this invoice, such as parts, billing codes, and history codes. The Technicians tab, number two, shows us what technicians worked on the dispatch. If the invoice is created from a dispatch, the amount of time they worked on that dispatch will be carried over here. The total labor cost is carried over to this screen and will display as a labor cost at the bottom of the invoice, but is not added to the retail charges on the invoice. Tab number three is for equipment. Equipment can be selected here to show that it is part of the work that is being billed for. If the invoice was created from a dispatch that had equipment selected, then those same pieces of equipment will be selected here. If new equipment is involved, it can be added to the customer's equipment list right from this tab. Simply click on the Add New button and enter the equipment's information. Tab number four, Documents, is where we have attached documents such as scanned warranty cards or photos of the job that pertain to this invoice. After we create an invoice and save it, we may want to go back to that invoice or one that you've recently worked on. A great shortcut to these invoices is to bring up a blank invoice, then click on the drop down next to Invoice Number. This will display a list of invoices in the order in which they were recently saved. Click to select any invoice to work on it further. The last area I would like to point out is the Activities drop down in the invoicing screen. Here you will find a list of some common links in ESC. The great part is that by selecting something in this list, we'll open an area of ESC and carry information over from that invoice. ESC will even remember the last thing you did, so even if you hit Save or Clear, it will remember if you click on something else in Activities. With this information, you are now able to start building your invoice. 
This concludes our tutorial on creating invoices in ESC.